Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lycan Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So, today we are going to start this uh, new game. Uh, it's a game that I already tried to play before. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish it because um, there were some problems. Uh, uh, my save in this game was uh, lost somehow. Uh, anyway, we are going to start uh, this new game. Hopefully, we will be able to do better, uh, find better places. Uh, so, this is a zombie survival game. It's called Zedon, where we will try to survive. And there are already a couple of end game scenarios that we will try to do. But that will be like um, maybe a very long time after because... Uh, we will be doing some things first. Uh, there will be some objectives like, for example, we will need a, I would like to rebuild a car for my group and maybe even uh, find a dog, <laughs> which is actually possible now since like a couple of uh, updates ago. So I've already set this up. Um, I also activated the VIP mod. Uh, a VIP mood, which means uh, one of my players here is a VIP. That means if he dies, we all the game ends right there and then. So we need to be really careful about our main leader. So yeah, let's start the game now and see how it goes. Wait, I think the volume is uh, is it going? I don't really know. I think the volume should be going. Hmm, maybe. I don't know if the music is on. Maybe it's off. Oh, it is on. Okay, here it is. So, weeks after the first infection, a group of survivors wanders in the land of the dead. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's skip tutorial here. I will try to remember what I needed to so here you can see the UI there are some buttons so if we press uh, up here are uh, this this tab here will uh, list all of the events that happens for example if we I think if we move it doesn't really does anything right yeah but if we do something it will be listed here like attack or if we see some zombies and things like that um, that will be listed up here uh, here in the middle up in upper middle part will be the button we can click to skip the turn or yeah to proceed to the next turn and then we have these things here uh, I wouldn't mess with them that much uh, apart from this one I keep it on because I like seeing the grid lines uh, here we have the informations and things like that you can mess with it uh, you can look at it if you want to so this is the two main end game objectives is being rescue uh, military rescue by building this thing um, a radio tower or by like um, creating a vaccine or something that's the same thing uh, that's another type of end game so there are only already two end games here that we could do uh, survivor groups and locations when we encounter them we will they will be listed here then there is the survival like a zombie survival guidebook that uh, you need to keep in mind and here are the stats of the game so that's fine uh, let's see so here is your shall we say most important part of the ui um we can uh, this is our group we have six people on our group right now uh this is our leader our vip that 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 needs to be protected at all times and yeah uh, this one uh, you can see here our actions that we could do we can build an encampment right now if we uh, build an encampment uh, we can split the group if we wanted to and this is the group inventory that I'm actually really curious about so let's open it so here is our survival tent if we want to build the camp we need that one inside of our um, inside of our inventory uh, we have all of our weapons here that we will be equipping in uh, very uh, very soon 
Uh, here are our action points uh, down here. Um, if, when we move, we consume action points. And then we will need to proceed to the next turn to regain two more action points. Every single group or every single person has two action points. So that's good. This is our attack power. That's like, uh, j that's just a value. And your group, your human group have this value, but zombies also have certain values uh, like this. And it's just your attack power. The more the better. Like the higher this number is, the better it is for your group. So now we can actually uh, try to uh, make it go higher. And to do that, we need to wear gear. So we can open the inventory or we, you can see here. You can open this thing here, the tab, right? So here, now we have the tab. Uh, down here, we have the characteristics of our unit, of our uh, guy here. Um, his health, his hunger level. So you need to eat. We have some food here right now, but we will need to find more as soon as possible. And um, I think if you are really hungry, you will start losing health and morale as well. Um, these are the things that uh, like strength, speed, focus, endurance, and intelligence. They affect certain types of uh, things in the game. For example, uh, strength affects the ability to use melee weapons. The higher it is, the higher your attack with melee weapons and things like that. Um, speed affects your ability to, to dodge an attack. Uh, focus affects your ability to use firearms. Endurance is how much HP your your character has. Intelligence is, I think it is something about crafting. Yeah, it is. Allows survivors to craft certain items. So the higher it is, the better they are at crafting. Now, uh, at the start of the game, I decided on certain types of perks for my characters. My main leader here, I decided to give him the lumberjack and him being a lumberjack means that all of the melee weapons will get plus 8 to minimum maximum attack damage. So that's really nice. Um, I really wanted it for him. Uh, and now I will give him a bat because that means, look at that. Uh, I will de-equip de it. So from 16, that became 34. So let's continue and uh, equip our guys. Also here, I will be going on auto feeder, uh, just because it I find it uh, really useful as a button. Let's go here. Our second character here has strength and speed. I think I will go for melee with you as well, because he ha she has four strength, so that's good. Here, this guy has four. Uh, he has more focus, so I'll give him handgun. But actually, I will not let him attack. Because if he were to attack, it would attract a lot of zombies. And I'm not ready to go against zombies right now. This one will go do this. And this one, this one. Oh, right. So you can see all of my characters have different um, perks, right? So this one's a medic. So starts with the medic bag. Crafts a medic bag every 200 turns. Increased amputation success. So that's really good. Amputation means, um, you can see here, right? Um, this, uh, what do you call it? This um, design here, sometimes one of your survivors or other survivors that you will encounter around the world will receive a bite from a zombie. So to save them, you will need to amputate their... The, their part, their body part that has been beaten. So uh, it shows it here. You will see later if we are lucky or rather unlucky enough to need to save to amputate, uh, to need to save a survivor that has been beaten and we will and uh, then need to amputate his arm. You will see it here. Uh, there are some fixes for that as well though so that's actually quite nice uh, so she is a medic that's pretty nice this one is a military meaning um, submachine guns and assault rifles give you plus five minimum at and maximum attack damage that, that's why he's really good at focus at so he's going to be our range unit this one is a psycho psychologist and i took her uh, because I wanted a psychologist because it decreases the impact of bad circumstances in mo the morale of the survivors. That's going to be really useful. <coughs> 
excuse me that's going to be really useful when doing certain events and here we have our civil engineer builds twice as fast that's going to be really useful when we set up our camp and the last one is the po a police uh, man and handguns and shotguns plus seven to minimum maximum attack damage so he he is our second um our second uh, range unit um if you you can see here that uh, i decided to not make them attack and that is by right clicking on them okay these two guys i decided to not let them fight yet so now let's end the turn and move around and let's see if we can find a place where we can settle into okay nothing here hopefully we will find the road soon oh there's a car I, there it is the road okay there's a car here it's uh, is it uh, it gave us something it gave us another food so we found food in that car so yeah we could push it that means this car is not functional so it needs to be um what do you call it it needs to be repaired before being able before enabling us to use it oh there's oh we're near a city we're near a facility you can see it because of this um this armored uh, car oh research facility okay i can't remember what it is about so this research facility i think it will be really useful um when we are trying for a certain type of uh, ending uh, where is it objectives here for civilian rescue that is going to be useful for civilian rescue if i remember it correctly let's go there so we can go here explore the location let's see medicines resources and junk i don't really need anything right now i would like to find a city or a town a city would be better Oh, crossroads and some cabins that will give me oh another food that's good and a car oh give me a weapon let's see what weapon is it another knife okay okay let's go oh military base that's going to be awesome let's uh yeah let's go and explore the military ah sorry okay we can explore this one and let's see here so start sele by selecting an area to explore and exp assign survivors to them so let's do it let's assign all of our survivors trying to find weapons in this place and maybe some clothing later on as well so let's end the turn uh, you must keep an eye around you at all times because there could be zombies and we found a weapon let's see here oh it's a grenade and some ammo oh that's a submachine gun that's actually really useful to this guy because he's a military man right okay hey, yeah you take it we're still exploring right okay I'm just keeping some turns here for now what did that oh i would like to have some like some katana or something a katana another firearm Ooh, assault rifle that's even more powerful right yeah that's even more powerful another weapon Another couple of weapons here. Ooh, another one. Well, this is a military base after all. I'm just skipping turns for now. And it's already night time. And, and we found a proximity mine. Another submachine gun. We will probably dis um, disassemble these things. Uh, let's uh, continue exploring into the night but for now we are going to find here uh, you can see here that uh, this military base of the military base there are two locations that we can explore and scavenge and at this time we have explored the weapons depot um, already 14.3 percent so at 100 percent i think um 
it will not be it will it will not give us anything anymore also i forgot to do something for all of my guys so you're on let's turn on all of these things here the auto feeder and also uh, where is it this one only at hungry okay the trigger auto feed when hungry Ooh, oh oh ah, that this would have been nice so upon exploring you've found a special military safe you can come back to it later by accessing the explore location panel oh really oh nice so we need 14 group intelligence so that's the um, the amount okay that's nice that's nice that's good and we found something okay so these uh let's say uh, these uh, equipments will give us certain things right so this is actually quite good they give me that that gives strength and the one the other one gives focus and speed so i'll give it to this guy look at that uh, attack going up nice we will wait for um what do you call it for dawn or what's it dusk dawn for next day okay before going and trying to find somewhere else oh we found this one nice so yeah give it to the cop and this one endurance i'm gonna give that one to him okay another endurance i'll give it to this guy or gal uh, you know what give it to strength focus go here oh nice give it to these guys first because uh, they will need um the additional endurance definitely oh uh, something happened did you no you did you weren't upgraded but something happened there for a second okay let's do this oh nice binoculars that's going to be really useful give it to this guy so binoculars as you can see here gives us plus one line of sight oh you can we, you can see here we are seeing now instead of seeing only at two grids away we are now going to see three grids away you can see here nice right so now uh let's see our things okay focus yeah you take it oh oh somebody ate okay that's that's fine uh let's move away now let's try to find somewhere to put our camp uh yeah it says it is just telling me that i can actually try to cut down trees for the future okay we found the road again that's a town yeah that's a town and those are our first zombies I'm gonna kite them and then I'm gonna fight them, kite them and then go back. Okay. Okay, let's go to town. I would like to see a city more than a town. Because a city can give you a lot more things. But right now we need some food. And maybe some ugh, we also need hp yeah we need hp we need some meds as well oh accessory focus intelligence i'm gonna give it to this guy no sorry no don't throw take it okay Another accessory. Some food. We're going to get rid of this <clears throat> jumpsuit soon. Oh, you are... Oh, you're not speedy enough. So, found a room full of zombies staring at a TV. Next to them, there's an item. Ignore. Yeah, I don't want to lose him. He's also the guy that uh, if we lose him, we lose the game. So I don't want to lose him. Let's do this. 
Okay, now, actually, let's continue exploring um, for something else. Find a place where we can settle down. Oh, and it's becoming night again. That's not good. It never is good. Oh, another town, actually. Okay, there's another town here. It could be a good location. This one could be a good location. I just want a city though. If we are able to find a city, that would be awesome. Oh, they all ate. That's good. Eat your food. Oh! Wait, this car is... Oh, but it only has a place for five. Oh, that's not good enough. Oh, I was really excited about the car because we can access the car. We can enter it. But my group is made out of... I have six people in my group, so... That's not gonna cut it. Okay, more zombies. There's probably a city here. Oh, maybe... Oh, we found some berries, I think. Yeah, we, have, we found an apple. Be careful when you go around the... Um, around the roads, because usually there could be zombies. Uh, yeah. Okay, ah, oh, there's a pit. There's a gas uh, petrol thing here. Right? Yeah, new location. That's a petrol location. Where we could get gas if I want if we wanted to. We can search for gas here and food. Still nothing. I could settle for this area, I think. But it's actually a long way from the towns. That's not good. It's a little bit far away from the... Well, we, we will try to... Oh, there's another town here. Really? Another town? We could settle here in the middle of these three towns. Even though I really wanted to be near a city because cities will give you a lot more advantages. Yeah, this is the end of it. Well, I guess this is, I mean, we could, um, if we wanted to, we could, uh, later on, we could um, leave the, um, our campsite. So that's fine. Let's, uh, let's put down our, our encampment here. So build it. Yes. Uh, later on, uh, so let's enter the camp. Later on, you can uh, click this button here to move your camp. I, I really don't, I don't know and can't remember if uh, the walls will stay. They will probably not. If uh, if you move your entire camp, you will probably need to start again. I, that part, I didn't really play it yet. Okay, here. So in the camp, uh, I would like to put everything. Is there a way for me to put everything that I have inside here? Um, I do know that uh, here we can scrap things. You can see to obtain items. Um, yeah, these things, we don't really need them. Safety helmet. Yeah, give it to somebody. Uh, this one, focus, I don't need it. Oh, these two things, maybe I will need them. Also, I will be using this uh, thing now. You use this one. Yeah, you use this thing here, okay? Medic only. That way we will uh, regenerate the health of all of these guys. That's good. Take this one. Uh, take this one. Okay. Uh, later on, I will switch to this uh, to this thing here to the bullet bulletproof. When we start encountering other uh, other factions, uh, 
okay you know what we'll be doing as well go here take this one go here and you equip it just because uh, it gives you more attack um yeah than the handgun and also take two of these and this one but actually do we even need to do that no 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 for right now uh, we are going to go here and we will start chopping trees uh let's see our equipment okay yeah we need some wood to build up our camp start building it up i'm just skipping turns right now okay we are going to build our camp through the night that should have automatically yep there it is so we can build our walls or something else let's see watchtower motion sensors those are nice water tower solar panels library all the things you can do and then a garage the a garage is really it's going to be really useful so this one a wall would be nice but for right now we will go back here and continue on our chopping duties give me that wood okay should be enough for now uh, another one continue doing this and it's day once again so your guys don't really need to go sleep you can just continue playing as long as you want as long as you have enough hp to sustain your group you know oh and also we have deforested this area now yep look at the stumps that's what happens but that's fine wait i don't think we have enough food do we have enough food uh okay let's see do we have some food yep we still have some food here so that's good okay so that guy ate now that's good and now we should start building our things so build wall uh build spike th spiky things okay and build this thing here oh we have some things that we could do and um build the watchtower let's see other things that could be very useful so uh the all of these things can give you certain uh things as well like for example the walls give you plus 200 defense that's the hp of your camp and the spiked wall will give you more um more hp as well as a low chance to kill zombies uh, can and wire trap gives you plus one line of sight for the encampment and the watchtower as well can give you line of uh, sight and attack range for your <clears throat> for your range guys so my range guys i could actually just leave them here if i if needed be but yeah let's uh to build these things you need you will need to assign your guys so where's my builder this guy here okay you can see that if i were to assign one of my guys here it will take 50 turns to build but if i put my guy here uh, my builder only takes 25 but the more builders or yeah building guys you put the the less time it will take to build that certain thing so yeah let's pass some time here for now building our things hopefully they are also regenerating some health and look at our camp our camp now has a wall that's pretty nice and here now let's go and build this thing as well the spiked wall the spiked wall later on we will go to town uh, either south the south the town in the south or the town in the north or one of the towns in the north because i would like to find some more survivors as well as some food 
Okay, that's built. Nicely done. Let's build everything here for now. Yep, they're starting to eat even more. So we'll need to... Ha! That's funny, bro. Victoria, would you help me repopulate? <laughs> okay. Do this a bit... Uh, adult stuff, shall we say. Oh, enemies nearby? We cannot... Okay, we need to fight. You can see we receive less damage if we are behind walls. Uh, even though our camp will lose some HP. Namely these guys. The uh, walls and the spiked walls. Uh, we can upgrade this thing if we wanted to later on. If we had enough resources. But right now we don't really have that uh, resource. So um, we are not going to do that for now. So we've done everything here for now. Oh, we received a second uh, medic bab bug, which is nice. Okay, now we are going uh, here. Hopefully nobody raids our our place. Yeah, sometimes uh, groups can raid your your camp. Uh, this is also why I I prefer to go into near a city because a city have um, a hospital where you can get uh, uh, lots of uh, medicinal things that can help your guys survive um, a town don't ha towns don't have a hospital so that's a really that's what it is missing okay some food that's nice oh Oh, that's an accessory. Yeah, give it to him. No, 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 I'm sorry. Give it to him. Oh, another one. Nice. And we have speed and focus here. A helmet, speed and endurance. Oh, nice. Oh, nice weapon, but I don't know if it's better. It's a little bit better than mine, so I'm gonna do this. I can actually go for a secondary weapon for these guys. like this so that they can at least help a little bit in fighting i oh, i forgot about that before we're still exploring right yeah oh speed that's pretty nice i give it to her headwear Okay, continue skipping turns for now. We need more food. And also survivors would be nice. Okay, now we have some food. We are gaining food. Oh, endurance, strength, focus. We're going to disassemble all of these things. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here for right now. Oh, well, actually, something happened. Ooh. So, now we found a police armory. Oh, dude, I was about to end this video because uh, I didn't want you to see the grinding, the grindy part of things. But, well, here's, uh, here's an event. So, we found an, a police armory. It probably contains some weapons, but seems locked. Luckily, um, we have a police with us. Uh, this guy is a police, John. So he can unlock it. Uh, otherwise, we could have either abandoned this place or pick the lock if we had enough focus, which is um, 25 group focus. So let's unlock it. What did it give me? It gave me something. Food. And okay, some weapons. A weapon, a handgun, and firearm ammo. So that's fine. Let's continue exploring. Okay, I'll be grinding here a little bit, you guys, before, e well, not really ending. I, I will be ending the video right now. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, and the, the grindy part of things, I will try to cut them out of the video as much as I can. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did so, don't forget to click that like button down below. And also consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it a lot if you did so. And our community would grow. And that would be a huge help. 
So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Like and Dark Trap, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.